Hello and be welcome to another episode of Let's Develop with Maven in Eclipse. Today we're going to talk about release. So release is essentially the idea of changing your current version from a development version, say 001 snapshot, to a release version, say 001, and then building that thing and deploying your artifacts with that release version somewhere and then again updating your uh, version to the next development version, which is usually then 002 snapshot, so just increased by one. In Maven, release is split into two phases, which is uh, the preparation phase and the performing phase. And in this episode, we're going to talk about the preparation phase, and I'll cover the uh, performing phase in the subsequent episode. Okay. So let's get started with the preparations for the preparation phase. In order for Maven to do a release, we need to give him some information. Um, the first thing is that we need to configure a release repository in the distribution management. So as you might remember from my deployment episode, um, we could we configured here a snapshot repository for uh, development versions. And now I'm going to do the very same thing um, with a normal repository so uh, this is essentially nothing nothing different from the de from the other deployment repository so if you uh, are interested how to actually configure that authentication and all please uh, have a look onto my deployment episode because there I explained everything including how to get ftp um, deployment to run so um, this is the first thing we have to do. A second thing that Maven will be doing during the release is actually um, committing to our version control system and also adding a tag um, for the actual release version. And in order to enable Maven to do that, we need to configure the source control uh, management in the POM XML file. So essentially we have to uh, tell Maven uh, what's the connection to our version control system so that it can do those commits and push them to a remote. Um, configuring them is fairly easy. We need to add um, this SCM connection tag here and then add an URL and the URL looks like SCM colon then git because I'm using git could be SVN, CVS, HG or whatever you want and then the URL to your repository. For me, uh, that's this URL that looks a little strange. Um, that's due to um, Git having to look up the right SSH key on my machine. But essentially, you just put the URL of your Git repository here, be it GitHub or something else, or even a local path. Um, and the release will automatically use that respective remote repository to push your changes to. Okay, that's... Uh, the changes you need to do content wise um, and then there is another change you should do uh, in order to guarantee stable releases and that is to configure the maven release plugin to a fixed and up-to-date version because if you don't do that sometimes you run into really strange behavior um, into behavioral differences on different machine uh, most often, but sometimes also into bugs that were there in certain versions and whatever, depending on what your local Maven, local Maven installation uh, decides to use as a version for the release plugin. So um, essentially what we're going to do is in the, in the build section of our POM file, we're going to add a configuration in the plugin section for the Maven release plugin. Um, I looked up that configuration online, just Googling for Maven release plugin and then looking on the on the page. So I'm going to just paste that in here uh, in order not to bore you with the details. Um, but essentially, I mean, that's just group ID, artifact ID and the version, which is, I think, the up-to-date version of the Maven release plugin. Uh, and this ensures that the Maven release will actually use this specific version of the release plugin to run the, delete, uh, the release. Okay, and with this, we're at the end of the configurations and changes we have to do in the POM XML file. The next thing we have to do is um, commit these changes because uh, since Maven is going to commit and push to our repository, we need to ensure that uh, there's no modifications in our current uh, working uh, directory 
in order for Maven to be able to do that. If we should forget that, Maven will fail the release and tell us uh, that we have changes in our current working directory and that we should commit or discard them um, before we continue. So let's say prepared for releases and commit that. Okay, and with that, we're actually uh, set and ready to perform the actual Maven release. Unfortunately, I've had various problems in the past doing the Maven releases from within Eclipse. Uh, I'm not sure why this is not working, but for me, it's not working most of the time. So I'm going to switch to the terminal and perform the release from there. Let's go over here um, and actually, yeah, just run the first phase, which is Maven release prepare and hit enter. Okay, so Maven started the release preparations and the first thing is asking us is what's going to be the release version? Since my current development version is 001 snapshot, it uh, proposes 001 as a release version by default, which I'm going to accept by just hitting enter. It could uh, add any arbitrary other version here. I want to do, the only thing I cannot do is, uh, or I should not do is decrease the number, but that makes sense, right? Okay, next thing, uh, as I told you, uh, Maven is going to tag uh, the release version in our repository and it's asking me which uh, tag name it should be using. Proposal is artifact name minus version. That's fine with me, so I accept that. And the third thing is it's asking me is the new development version it's going to assign after uh, the release. And it's proposing 002 snapshot because it's just increasing the last uh, version uh, increment and that's fine with me so let's stay with that. Now you can see that Maven is performing the build as usual running the tests and all and then down here you actually see the modifications going on. Let me just wait till this finishes and then explain what's going on. So first thing Maven is doing is um, it's modifying POM files replacing the current development version 001 snapshot by the release version 001. And then it's going to take all these changes, add them to the repository and actually committing the stuff that's this here. And then it's pushing the stuff to the remote. So um, next thing is it's going to tag the release version with the tag we specified game loop 001. Again, it's going to push these changes to the remote and then it's going to modify the POMs again uh, using the next development version. So from 001, which is the release version to 002 snapshot, which is the next development version. Again, adding that, um, committing that and pushing that to the remote. And that's where the preparation phase ends. We can now have a quick look at the remote repository where we can probably see that the number of commits went up, right? We now have commits for the preparation phase and for the preparation of the next development iteration. So this is exactly the two uh, change commits we just talked about. And we can see that there is one tag, which is the game loop 001 that has been automatically pushed to my GitHub repository. Okay, that concludes release preparation. I hope you could take something out of it, can use that um, to release your Maven repository or your Maven uh, project. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment, send me a message. Let me know what you talk, uh, what you want to hear, what you want to have in addition uh, in with respect to information. But if it's about release perform, then just uh, give me some time. I'm going to publish that in the next episode. So stay tuned and hope to see you there.